Shalom. Before I begin, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakat, Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders, Great Millstone, who rule well and teach well. Peace and salutations unto all the Akim. You brothers preaching his word in truth and in sincerity. And Shalom to the hopeful elect, you sincere believers scattered wherever you may be. All right, the title of this one, Lucy, will be uh, The Son of Man is the Right Hand. And, uh, you know, because throughout all the scriptures, predominantly in the New Testament, uh, that Son of Man represented who? Yahweh Shai. All right. And um, so, Lord willing, uh, this will be edifying and exhorting unto the flock. We're going to jump straight into it. So this is Psalm 80 and 17. It says, let thy hand be upon the man of thy right hand, upon the son of man whom thou madest strong for thyself. Right? Because Yahweh, Yahweh was, uh, well, he created Yahweh Shai and, and in turn, Yahweh Shai created everything else. Right? That's why he was coined or, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Named the only begotten son. <laughs> All right. And not to get too deep, but yes, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh gave the blueprint. All right. But Yahweh Shai did the rest. All right. He created the rest. Um, I'm going to just read out throughout Psalm 80 and 18. So will not we go back from thee, quicken us, and we will call upon thy name. And that's what's so important is the name of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, because through those names, ultimately we will be saved. All right. And the right hand is ultimately how we will get salvation. You see? It says, Turn us again, O Lord of hosts, or Lord power of hosts, or Yahweh power of hosts, cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. And it's ultimately through who? Yahweh Shai. Right? Because it's Yahweh who ultimately ordains it ordain salvation but how will he do it it's going to be done through his right hand you know and uh let me grab that real quick it says uh i think it says uh might be psalm or isaiah bear with me beautiful one I don't know. there's one in particular i'm looking for yep there it is god i believe this is it isaiah 12 and 2 behold the most high is my salvation i will trust and not be afraid for the lord it says jehovah but we know in the patient our patient the ancient paleo hebrew tongue his name is yahweh okay he to be, he is. It says, Yahweh is my strength and my song. He also has become my salvation. He has given me the victory. He has given us the victory, and that's through who? Yahweh Shai. Right? Because did he not go up on that cross for the for the sins of the nation of Israel? And these times, primarily the elect, because that's who he's coming to save. Okay? And he's coined as the right hand, because usually what? What is the right hand usually uh, considered to be? Or what is it? Uh, 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 I wouldn't say. Oh, it might be simile. All right, just let me look up that word simile. <laughs> now that we're, uh, it came to mind. I believe it's the word simile. It's a, uh, yeah, figure speech involving the comparison of one thing with another thing of a different kind. So, yeah, it is a simile. A simile or, or a synonym, you know, you could take place of 
But it's a representation of what? The right hand usually is what? A representation of strength. And it's mighty because I was thinking like in the world, you know, just as a as a people itself, usually what are most people considered to be when it comes to what what arm or what hand is stronger than the other, it's usually the right. It's usually always the right hand. You know, again, you have some cases where people are ambidextrous, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But nine times out of 10 or for the majority, people are predominantly right-handed, okay? And again, the right hand uh, uh, refers to strength in the scriptures as well, okay? But also right hand, um, right hand is, uh, is a place of honor. You know, if you have that saying in the world, oh, he, yeah, he's my, he's my right hand. He's my right hand man. You put trust in that man. You know, he'll, he'll guard your life if needed. It's your, it's your best, it's your ride or die, so to speak. You know, and, um, and that's the significance of the right hand. You know, the holy arm of the Lord, the son of Yahweh. Okay, uh, from there, let me jump to uh, Psalm 40 and 7. Okay, it says, Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written to me, because throughout the scriptures, Yahweh Shai is always being mentioned. All right, and just how we read it in Psalm 80 and uh, 17, it says, Upon the son of man whom thou madest strong for thyself. All right. And it's the Lord, Yahweh Shai is speaking of. Let me get a psalm. I believe it might be Psalm. No, Psalm 2, 2 and 12, if I'm not mistaken. Psalm 2 and 12, kiss the son, lest he be angry and he perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are all they that put their trust in him. So who other uh, who other than Yahweh Shai could this be speaking of? Okay. Hey Amen. The Lord was set up, you know, as our uh, uh, as the door that we need to enter to get back unto the Heavenly Father. And it's ultimately how we will receive salvation again. All right. Let me jump to uh, from there. Let me jump to uh, Hebrews 12 and 2, because we know also, you know, where the uh, where the Lord Yahweh Shai is right now in these times that we're living in. Right. Hebrews 12 and 2, looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. All right. <laughs> Despising the shame. And is set down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. He's seated in the place of honor beside the Most High's throne. Let me read that whole thing in the NLT. Hebrews 12 and 2. We do this by keeping our eyes on Yahweh Shai. Actually. Uh, all right, let me start from verse 1. Hebrews 12 and 1 in the NLT says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip, strip off every weight that slows us down. Yeah, anything that hinders you from serving the Lord completely, or you, or you see that that's slowing down your walk, go ahead and uh, I will try your best to um, to cut them off. You know, to snip it away, because it is better to enter into the kingdom of heaven maimed than whole. All right, anything that's slowing you down, you know. It's not giving you proper motivation that's uh, weakening your faith or you feel that, you know, again, is is not best for you. Cut that shit out. It says, especially the sin that so easily trips us up and let us run with endurance the race the most high have set before us. Because this race, uh, you know, is a marathon. It's not a sprint. It's not a sprint. He who endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. And we know on this race is going to be hell and a lot of obstacles we got to go through. 
okay? But this is, hey, man, we get the strength from who? Yahweh Shai. Our strength is made perfect in weakness. That's that's when, and <laughs> uh, you know, me speaking as a man, that's when, uh, you know, he comes out or he comes out. He, he comes through the most for us. And in that, you'll see his power. And you'll see the power behind those names. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, because he comes through every single time. You know, he doesn't give us anything that we can't endure. In the moment, because we're in the flesh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to seem like forever, but it's a, he's always on time, man. And we're not, we're living in his world, in his movie. It's not on our time. Our time... You know what I'm saying? It's not really a time for the Lord, <laughs> if that makes sense. But let me continue on. I don't want to uh, stray away too much. And I got 3% left, so Lord willing, we can uh, breeze through it. says Hebrews 12 and 2, we do this by keeping our eyes on Yahweh Shai, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Because of the joy awaiting him, he endured the cross, disregarding its shame. And he knew because he had he had uh, knowledge of his past life when he was Solomon, when he was Adam, when he was going off. OK, and he knew that he had to be that perfect sacrifice for the nation. And he saw the vision, the visions of the kingdom of him ruling. He's the king of kings, the Lord of lords. All right? He had the vision. He had faith. He didn't physically see the king. Oh, hey, that's why he said that, you know, what I'm saying the uh, kingdom of heaven. Uh, uh, starts with you, loosely paraphrasing. All right. That new Jerusalem, hey, Lord willing, would be that new Jerusalem coming down. But it said, uh, disregarding its same, now he is seated in a place of honor beside the Most High's throne. And, um, you know, just how he is seated in a place of honor when he, you know what I'm saying, went on that cross. And we're not, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that we, we come up in comparison to Yahweh Shai, Lord forbid. All right. He's the king of kings, the Lord of lords. He's our Lord, all right? But Lord willing, if, if we die for our Lord, amen, uh, 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 we're going to receive um, fame in every land we were brought to shame. All right, we don't want it right now. Right now, we have to uh, uh, be at the low, man, take the humble route. But Lord willing, we'll also be seated, you know what I'm saying, in, in a type of... Uh, on a roll, so to speak. Again, not at the height that Yahweh Shai is at, right? Fuck no. But we're going to have that power, man, Lord willing. We're going to have that power. Okay. So from there, Salakia, let me go to... Uh, uh, let me go to uh, Mark. Or maybe... Uh, let me just look up the Son of Man. Again. Now in the New Testament, uh, nah, I didn't want. I wanted Luke, I believe. Here it is, Luke 21 and 27. All right, going into the salvation. So, like, let me go inside real quick. Put this on the charge. I don't want it to die. Milo, come on. So, like, here. Uh, Luke 21 and 20. Actually, I started verse 25, all right? Because it's the times that we're living in right now. This is Luke 21 and verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. And are we not seeing this strange signs in the sun, moon and stars? Okay. In the heavens, 
Was there not? And it could be, you know what I'm saying, set up by Esau Edom, but everything set up ultimately by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, with that uh, UFO sighting or, or whatever phenomenon they, they claim it to be. And again, it could be, you know what I'm saying, Esau's uh, 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 set up. It could very well be the angel of the Lord. <laughs> you never know. The Lord knows. You know, with the, uh, I believe it might have been in Cali, but you brothers know what I'm talking about. Um, where it landed in their backyard and it was, it was fucking up the frequencies and the cameras and 12 came up and asked, you know, because there was another police officer that said they saw something fall out from the sky. So, hey man, there's a lot of strange signs happening. We know that these tokens are uh, 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 tokens that Yahweh Shai is, is near, that the Lord is, is visiting the place. That he had made um, in the moon, you know what I'm saying, the blood moons, the sun looking overly large. <laughs> okay, it says in the NLT, it says, and here on earth, the nations will be in turmoil. Is this not happening? China, Taiwan, Ukraine, Russia, you know, different exercises that these nations are doing because hey, the, the Lord is ultimately stirring up the minds of the kings. Okay. Putting the uh, uh, hooks in uh, uh, in the jaws, man. It says, perplexed by the roaring seas and strange tides. Verse 26 in the KJV, back in the KJV, Luke 21 and 26. Man's hearts failing him for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. All right, people, and this is what's going to happen. People are going to be terrified for all the, uh, uh, um, I wouldn't say visions, but all the, um, all the events, for lack of better words, that are going to happen upon this earth. People are going to be shaking in their boots, catching heart attacks. Again, their their hearts going to be failing them for fear, be falling out. Hey, hey. Uh, so like, yeah. So continuing on, um, verse 27, Luke 21 and 27, then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. All right. In a cloud, um, that's speaking of a chariot. That's speaking of what today is referred to as a so-called UFO, unidentified foreign object when in the scriptures, it's actually identified. It's a cloud. It's a chariot. You know, it's a mountain that the Lord is going to be riding upon when he comes back. The same way, look, what did it say? The same way that he ascended is the same way he's going to descend in a cloud, a chariot. And uh, in this, the Son of Man, who's the Son of Man speaking of? Yahweh Shai. When you go in this uh, footnote, Son of Man is a title Yahweh Shai used for himself. And. You know, if you had a brain, <laughs> you would know that. All right. Simple. But uh, oh, let me read down verse 28, Luke 21, 28. And when these things begin to come to pass and look up and lift your heads for your redemption, draw off nigh. And our, our, our salvation is nearer than when we believed. And when we see these things, we, we truly know the Lord is right there. And literally, he's going to be right there, Lord willing, when we see him. Crack them clouds, right? But prior to that, when all hell breaks out, you know what I'm saying? They implement the chip, right? World War Three cracks. We know, shit, Jacob's trouble pops off. We know that our salvation, our redemption, draw off nigh. Um, and I think, let's get a few more... Uh, let me just do a word search on the right hand. Okay. And I love the ones in Psalm. Uh, let me see here. Woo, Psalm 20 and 6. I started... Um, yeah, I... Was, let me see this. Woo! <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I'll, I'll I'll go to six, and then we'll get the rest of it. Psalm twenty and six. Now now know I that the Lord saveth his anointed. He will hear from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name Yahweh, our power. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Right? Because that's where our salvation comes from. And some of these people, whatever they trust in, man, whether it be uh, their cars, their modern day cars, because a chariot is, is essentially a vessel that one rides, rides in. Right? Some summon horses representing power. So some of these people. They boast of what they have, the power that they may have in society. All right, but in the times to come, what is that? What is all that shit going to matter? It's going to come to naught. It's going to, you know, average out to nothing. You know, all the Instagram likes and your followers, what is that going to be good for when the internet goes out? When there's crying in the streets, when there's no fucking food on the shelves, you know? But we, who, the elect, Lord willing, we be of that number. The hopeful elect will re remember the name of the Lord, our power. Okay? Again, it's very important. It says they are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. While these people are going to be shitting bricks, not knowing where their next meal is, we know that his servants shall eat. His servants shall drink. We're going to be okay. It says we're going to be satisfied. It says, save Yahweh, let the king hear us when we call. All right. And, you know, he does. He, he answers our prayers, man. He hears our prayers. It's a lot, yeah. Yeah, man, he hears our prayers. Again, Yahweh Shai is the mediator. He maketh intercession for us. He pleads our case. Right? So from there, so like, and there was one, I think, I think it was that Psalm 18, 35. Yep. Psalm 18 and 35 that has also given me the shield of thy salvation and thy right hand have holding me up and thy gentleness have made me great. Okay. Let me get John 14 and 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth. Give I unto you. He he truly gives us peace, man. The what? The Holy Spirit. And it's a gift. Right? He gifted us. You know what I'm saying? Come here. So like you know, my damn dog. <laughs> he gives us, you know, that true peace. Something that the world can never give, man. Because it's all temporal. What the world gives is all temporal. And it's made to perish. But what? The Lord will never forsake us, never leave us. Not like, hey, <laughs> Sophia will always be with us, man. You know, wisdom. But it said, uh, not as the world giveth you, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither, neither let it be afraid. Because what? We already have the victory, man, through Yahweh Shai. Know, the flesh is going to buck up the flesh is going to get weak but what the spirit is willing and we have to lean upon our lord cast our cares upon him all right speaking first and foremost to myself okay you grab uh let me just grab one more going into the right hand and lord willing this all came together i know it's a little bit over the place bouncing Uh, yep. Psalm 60 and 5, that they, that thy beloved or beloved may be delivered. Yeah, the house of David. Okay. It says, save with thy right hand and hear me. Psalm 63 and 8, my soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. All right. So, amen. Yeah, how was shy? Is also known as his holy arm, arm going into strength, 
right? Right hand going into, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying, um, a special place of honor, okay? That's why he's seated at the right hand, right? Psalm 110, and he's coming back to what? Render vengeance upon our enemies and to deliver his elect, okay? And Lord willing, we'd be of that number, but... Uh, with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakwadash. Double honor again unto the apostles and the elders, great millstone. Shalom, Wah, Ababa, Bah.